Bunker Hill, the site of the eponymous battle between the colonists and the Redcoats in 1775. Today, the proud 220-foot granite obelisk offers visitors a glimpse of how this town earned its status as the birthplace of America. Over in Charlestown, you can take in history with a view. There are four windows from the top. You can look out in either di any direction. So you can look out to the harbor, look towards the Boston skyline, north, south, wherever you want. It's 294 steps to the top of the massive Bunker Hill Monument, where you get to see the entire Boston landscape. The massive granite structure marks the first major battle of the American Revolution. In addition to walking up the monument, battle talks are held at the top of every hour, describing the history of the battle and how and why it played such an important role in the revolution. You can also visit the Bunker Hill Museum, which is right across the street. The monument is open daily, but could close if it's too hot outside. It is free, but you do need to get a pass from the museum to make the climb in the summer months. Today, I'm at the Bunker Hill Monument in Charlestown to talk about the Battle of Bunker Hill, the bloodiest battle during the Revolutionary War. Despite its name, the Battle of Bunker Hill actually took place on Breed's Hill. The colonial militia were instructed to build a redoubt on the highest point in Charlestown, which was Bunker Hill. But with no moon that night, they couldn't see very well and instead built on the 70-foot-tall Breed's Hill. 